I do not want to go through all the activities step by step with you, but I would like to point out what the activities or the required activities will be. The Getting Started in Art 1280 page is basically a recap in writing of what we're doing in these videos. And so if you walk through all the videos first, or you watch all the videos, you should be able to skim through that page because you should already understand what's posted. There are some guidelines for taking online courses, and if this is your first online course, or if you've had a bad experience taking an online course before, you should pay careful attention to the expectations of taking an online course. A lot of students view online courses as easy courses where you can log in once a week and you can get your work done in an hour, and that's not really the case for online courses in general, and it's especially not the case for Art 1280. And so there are some best practices that you can follow to set yourself up for success in an online class. The Setting Realistic Expectations page is, in my opinion, the most important thing to read in the Getting Started activities. It is expectations of what I expect from you as a student and what you can expect of me in return as your instructor. It includes information of how I want to be contacted, how I want to be spoken to, um, how you are to submit your coursework, etc. And then it has things like, in return, I will respond to your emails within 24 hours and I will grade your activities within a certain time frame. Click on that page and read through the expectations. It's kind of long, but it's important and you should read through it in great detail. There is a page called Resources for Help, but it is also a page that is one of your buttons. So I'm going to click on that one and open it in a new tab. So if you are struggling with this course, this is where you should go to see where the help is. So it depends on what you're struggling with, but I am always your first point of contact for help. There are resources through Canvas that you can find. There are resources through the college that can help you with different things. And then I've listed some sites that can help you with the Photoshop aspect of your troubles or troubles you might have in the class. Scroll down. In addition to that, there's a link to the course syllabus. So if you have not already read through the course syllabus, you'll be prompted to do that during module one. There's a page that explains the course materials, text, and software in great detail and has all the information about accessing the most materials for free. There is yet another link to the course schedule because it's very important that you see that, download it, save it, and print it somewhere. And then there's two videos at the end, and I want to emphasize that these videos are just for you to watch. You don't have to master everything that's included in the video. They're just a little sneak peek of the things that you could do using Photoshop. 